In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this right here. This is my own original design, and it is a part of my new series, my Back to School slash School Supplies series with the rubber bands. And this here is pretty much just pencil decoration. It's not really a pencil grip because there are some spots where you could have your fingers and not be touching the rubber bands. And I'm not sure if it depends on if you're left-handed or right-handed when you write with pencils or pens or whatever. But I can write with my pencil without having to touch the rubber bands. And sometimes the rubber bands can be a little uncomfortable, so that's just kind of a warning. Also, you can make this with a charm attached to the little rubber bands here so you could have a little pencil dangle as it is called and yeah you can also do this to pens with lids on them I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what you're going to need to make the little pencil decoration you're going to need your loom any loom will work you're also going to need your hook. Any hook will work as well. I'm going to be just using a regular Rainbow Loom plastic hook. Now, not only will you need those things there, but you will also need rubber bands. You can use as many colors as you wish, and you won't need more than 20 rubber bands for anything that you make with this design on it, if it is like a pencil. So, go ahead and get your supplies now that you know what you will need and use the pause button so that you can do so and I will see you once you have everything alright so to begin you're going to want to have your loom so that or turned so that the arrow is pointing away from you you're also going to want to have your writing utensil that you're going to be putting this little grip or design on nearby and you're also going to need to get all of the rubber bands you'll be using for the grip or the little design. Now I'm going to be showing you how to put the little design on a regular pencil first. And well to do that, with the arrow pointing away from you, you're going to get the last color you want in the design. In the decoration, I'm going to have jelly turquoise as last. And you're going to place it going from this first middle pin to this first left pin. Then, here on this first left pin, you're going to get another rubber band. And you're going to place it going inwards from this first left pin to this second middle pin. And you get this kind of... Le you get this less than shape. Then, you get another rubber band, and you place it going inwards now, or outwards, from this second middle pin to the second left pin. Then, you get another rubber band, and place it going from this second left pin to this third middle pin. And that's all you're going to pretty much do. You're just going to continue placing this zigzag shape going as far down your loom as you feel necessary. If you would like to, you can put your pencil or pen or whatever you're going to be putting this on. I'm going to be doing the regular pencil first. You can go ahead and just set it on your loom to see how far you need to go with the zigzag thing. But make sure you don't but make sure you have your pen or whatever you're putting this on not on your loom because you need to place the rubber bands on the bottom. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue placing the zigzag shape until I get far enough down my loom so that there are rubber bands underneath my entire pencil, except for this sharpened part here. So I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward. Use the pause button if you need to. Alright, 
Now, as you can see here, I have finished placing the zigzag shape on my loom. So now, when I put my pencil on top of it, it's pretty much... Wherever my pencil is, there are rubber bands underneath it. Oops, hold on. Need to put two more rubber bands. There we go. Now, when I set my pencil down, there are rubber bands underneath it. And you might want to have this part where the point is, where you'll be writing. You might want to have that sticking out a little bit. So when you go to sharpen it, it's not running into the rubber bands. But once you have this, it is now time to loom this little zigzag. So get your hook and one more rubber band because now it is time to loom this thing. Alright, so to loom this little or this zigzag on your loom, you're going to need to turn your loom around so that the arrow is now pointing towards you. And now the zigzags and all that will be up here, so you'll need to go up here. And you're going to place another rubber band as a cap band on the first pin that has a rubber band on it. So for me, it's this middle pin. And to make a cap band, what you're going to do is you're going to take the rubber band you wish to turn into a cap band and twist it into an 8 or infinity shape like so. Then fold the rubber band back on top of itself, creating a cap band. So now it looks like you have two rubber bands instead of one. And you're going to put this cap band now on this first pin with rubber bands on it. Now once you have that cap band on there, you're going to get your little pencil or pen or whatever you're going to use and you're going to set it on top of the design with the cap band closest to the eraser or the end of the utensil that you do not write with. And you're just going to simply loom this zigzag shape. And to do that, you're going to pull back this cap band with your hook, grab the rubber band underneath of it, and loom this rubber band wherever it is coming from. Then you're going to do the same thing again. You're going to pull back all the top rubber bands, grab this bottom rubber band, and loom it outwards to wherever it is coming from. Then, you're going to do it again. You're going to pull back the top rubber bands, grab the bottom rubber band, and loom it to wherever it is coming from. And you're going to do this the whole way down your loom until you get to the end of this zigzag shape. So I... So the last middle pin. And I do apologize if you hear that loud noise in the background. My mom is vacuuming downstairs. But anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward. Use the pause button if you need to. Alright. So as you can see here, I have now finished looming this zigzag shape or the zigzag of rubber bands on my loom and you should have as well. And once you have finished looming this zigzag craziness, it is now time to take it off of your loom. Alright, so to take this off of your loom, it's very very easy. All you're going to do is with the arrow pointing towards you, like you're about to loom this zigzag again, what you're going to do is you're going to get your hook, grab all the rubber, or yes, start on the first pin with rubber bands on it, so the pin with the cap band on it, you're just going to use your hook and pull the rubber band off of the pin. Then you're going to do this for another pin. You're going to take all the rubber bands in your hook and pull them off of that pin. 
And that's all you're going to do. Just get all the rubber bands on a pin and pull them off of your loom. Going all the way down your loom until you get to this rubber band here that you loomed last. So the last rubber band you loomed, do not take it off of your loom. So this one here on this last middle pin. So I'm going to go ahead and just fast forward from here. Use the pause button if you need to. Alright, so as you can see here, I have taken all of the zigzag rubber bands, all the rubber bands that were on my loom, off. And once you have taken all of them off, except for these, except for this one here on this last middle pin, what you're going to do is you're just going to take your hook, stick it into this pin, this last middle pin, and take the rubber bands off with your hook. And make sure you keep these rubber bands on your hook. And now you just have your pencil with the zigzag shape on it. So now once you have this, what you're going to do is you're going to put these two layers of rubber band on your hook onto this end of your pencil. And to do that you're going to use your fingers and take both layers off. Be very careful when you do this. Then you're going to put both layers onto your pencil. So I just did one layer there. Let me grab the other end. So here's the other end. Just put it on your pencil like so. And as you can see, it's trying to slide down your pencil. What you will do is you will take the rubber bands and bring them back up a little bit. Then you will twist them while they are on your hook. And this new little teardrop or circle or triangle shape you will put on your pencil as well. I do apologize if you weren't able to see that, but you get something like this in the end. And then you can slide this thing here down a little bit, and bam, so you have one end. Now you have to do the same thing for the other end that has your cap band on it. So what you do is you get your cap band, and you just put it on your pencil like so, and you can twist it another time if you feel the need to do so. And that's what I just did. And, well, now you have your pencil decoration. So, I would like to thank you for watching my tutorial. And hopefully it showed you how to make a little grip or decoration for just a, any ordinary regular pencil like this one. And also, hopefully you are enjoying your decoration on your pen slash pencil slash mechanical pencil slash marker slash maybe even hook and yeah so thanks for watching and bye